Hello my gorgeous Aries, welcome to your weekly reading. I hope everyone is doing really well. This reading is for Sun, Moon and Rising Sign Aries. Please just take what you need from the reading, what resonates from the reading and just leave what doesn't resonate. Let's call in your angels, guides, spirit and source energy to be present during this reading Aries. Let's see what they would like to bring through with this deck of cards. And at the ends of the reading, I'm going to be using the pendulum to receive a yes, no answer to a question that you have. So let's see what this deck reveals for you, Aries. I feel this card here is your first card. Align your universe, navigate distractions. This week, it's really important to not get distracted from something. It might be your procrastination, it might be outside influences, but it's really important to not get distracted and to keep your mind, single-mindedness on something that you're wanting to accomplish. Mindful wisdom, create inner harmony, Aries. The owl may be symbolic for you, it might be a symbol from spirit or have specific meaning for you. Spirit wants you to create as much inner harmony as you can and how you go about doing that is going to be different for everyone of course. Mindfulness is important as well. Birth of creation, potential growth. There is potential growth in a circumstance that you are wondering about, that you're thinking about. There is potential growth. Birth of some kind of creation. Beautiful. Celestial gatekeeper, time is critical. So there's a timing, uh, a timing situation at hand. Something needs to get done or there's something that um, where time is running out, perhaps. OK, so place this energy where it fits for you, Aries. You must remember to keep time with something spirit is saying, keep on time. Don't be late. Don't be late. Spirit is saying, don't be late this week. Okay, so you have some gorgeous cards here coming through with this deck. Let's take a look at this deck here. We'll see what messages they'd like to bring through for you. This one here. Sun in Aquarius. Opportunity. Readiness for change. Get ready for a big change in an area of your life. Now, this is a general reading, so you're going to have to place this energy where it where it works for you. Where where are you expecting some kind of change to take place? Be ready for quick, sudden change. And an Aquarius may be important to you in some way. There's also an opportunity there's an opportunity that some are going to grab hold of, that you're going to be offered something very positive, an offering of something you've been waiting on, perhaps. We have another Aquarius here. So for some, there's definitely an Aquarius um, around you, sun, moon or rising sign for this person. Your inner wild child awakens, free spirit. You're wanting more freedom or you want more, more time for yourself. OK, that's what I'm seeing. So you're wanting more time for yourself. You're wanting freedom in some way, maybe freedom from worries, success after a setback, eclipse in Sagittarius and there's growth. Success after some kind of setback. This is nice to know. This is nice to know that you're going to, in fact, have success if you have had a delay, a setback, something holding holding up progress. As Sagittarius may be important in some way. And there's going to be growth and development and a positive um, thing, a positive thing. Something's going to sprout, a new idea, an inspiration perhaps. 
that you will be able to implement Aries. The sun in Libra. A Libra may be important perhaps. Enjoy life with music, love and romance. And the key word here is harmony. So you might be able to find harmony in a relationship. I'm seeing that. Music, listening to music will be important this week. And um, connection with others in love, whether it's platonic love or romantic love, is also on the cards here for you. Beautiful. Let's see what this deck reveals for you. Guidance for Aries, please, Spirit. Guidance for Aries. Guidance for Aries. This one here is your card. Goals. Progress is positive and personal goals will be achieved. You're going to achieve some personal goals or move towards some positive gains in some way this week. It may be financial. There are coins on this card. So if you're after financial gain or progress financially or with your money this week, it's definitely on the cards. The moon is Pisces card, so you may have a Pisces that's around you, significant in some way. Pay attention to your intuition at this time and move ahead confidently. Your intuition is going to be on point. Something that you are seeing, something that you're hearing, is going to trigger an intuitive response this week. Take notice of it because there are some hidden mysteries that are going to be revealed to you. There's going to be knowingness that will be, that something will be revealed to you. You will have a knowingness. Beautiful Aries, look at this card. It's the wish card. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. Your heart's desire is ready to come true. What more could you want? This week there is going to be a blessing. There is going to be a wish come true. It is here on the cards. If it doesn't happen this week, then you're making progress toward this wish coming true. Judgment. Soul searching. Soul searching will bring inner peace to many areas of your life. Searching your inner self, your inner being, finding out what your true essence is saying to you and making some judgments about that, making some judgment calls about your life because of the alignment, because of what you find when you soul search, making, making some changes perhaps because you, you want to come into alignment also, writing is important here. Writing. Yes. Beautiful. Beautiful, Aries. Okay, let's see. We have another deck here for you. Let's see what this reveals. Guidance for Aries, please, Spirit. The Angel of Enlightenment. First of all, I can see that you have angelic protection. It's right here on this image. You have angelic protection. You're actually moving toward the angels. You're moving toward communication with the angels or toward them um, for protection in some way. So there is definitely a, a, a sense here of you being connected to the, to the angelic realm. I'm seeing that you're moving into freedom in some way, moving into into freedom and you have protection, divine protection moving into this freedom and there's an opportunity or something you're moving toward with your arms wide open, you're embracing this change, you're embracing this newness, you're embracing spirit, the angels. I love that image. The angel of patience. Perhaps you're going to have to be patient with something or someone this week. I can see that you're looking at the clock. You're looking at the clock and you're hoping something to be over. You're hoping that the time goes faster. But that's not how it works, Aries. You're going to have to just bide your time with this one. The angel of stress. She's blowing away the stress here. 
So that's what spirit is asking you to do. Perhaps you know exactly what type of stress you have had going on in your life and spirit really is asking you to release it, blow it away, move away from it, release of stress. Yes, the angel of release, exactly, the angel of release, release this stress. You may have something that is worrying you or you may have something that you know you need to release. It might be a person, a workplace, a thought pattern. You'll be able to do it this week. The energies are supporting you wholeheartedly. Let's take a look at the tarot. Guidance for Aries, please, Spirit. Guidance for Aries. Okay. The Six of Swords. You may feel hurt or damaged. You may feel that some, maybe some prop property is damaged in some way. But you're taking cover, you're seeking refuge, and you're moving in the right direction. I'm also seeing a lot of water here, so I feel that you may be, um, it could be literal water, or it might actually be that there's um, depth of emotion. There's depth of emotion that you're um, seeking refuge from. But you're going to be moving in the right direction mentally this week. The Nine of Wands. So you're hurt or you're injured. You have a bandage on your head here in this card, but you're standing strong even though you have been hurt or you've been offended in some way. Someone's tried to tear you down, but you have not fallen. You are standing strong. You're battered, but you are standing strong. The tower. Some kind of catastrophic event or circumstance or conversation has happened or is going to happen this week. There is um, a shaking of foundations. There is a... Things cannot go back to being how they once were. Things need to change. and judgment so there's a a new beginning a letting go of the old to make way for the new there is some kind of judgment upon you um, which may mean that you're being judged or you're being um, you may be um, others may be looking at you your situation something you said and there could be some judgment there it might be in the form of an interview, for example, if you're going for employment, but it might be something else as well. Perhaps friends or family member is, doing, is judging you or something similar. There is an energy here of being able to make a decision, stick to it and move on though. So that's what I'm seeing here with judgment. I feel that you may be making a judgment call you've made a call and you're going to stick to it and you're going to follow things through until until the end and you know there's no going back to an old way of being or an old way of doing things you just have to move yourself forward so those are the cards for the week ahead let's take a look at your pendulum so you can Think of a question now, and it's a question that's important to you. Um, ask Spirit to reveal the answer through this pendulum reading. So think of that question now. Hold that question in the forefront of your mind. And it looks like the answer is yes. The answer is yes, Aries, to that question that you have held in your mind. I hope this reading has been helpful for you, Aries. It's been wonderful to read for you today. Stay blessed, take care, and I'll talk to you again soon. Bye for now.